So we're going to do some um, exercise for our upper body, specifically for our, shot, for our shoulder blades, okay? Getting our muscles on our back nice and uh, strong. And also we're going to do some balance exercises. So make sure you have a chair um, that is near you, a nice sturdy chair, okay? And some weights, um, uh, they can be light weights or you can do this uh, body weight. So that's, so that's all right. So the first thing that we're going to do in our warm up, we're gonna practice standing with good posture, all right? So I'm standing with my feet about hip width apart, okay? My shoulders are down and relaxed. I'm feeling equal pressure amongst both my feet. So I'm not standing on one side or anything. I can feel equal pressure amongst both feet and my chin is slightly tucked in, okay? My shoulders are down. So this is good posture. And you can do this also sitting down. So my ears are over my shoulders, my ribs are over my hips. And it's always good to practice this because we want to create good habits. So even when you're in the supermarket, I know you've got, everyone's got their trolley in front of you and I'm sure a lot of you like to lean on that trolley. <laughs> But if you can, try and just stand nice and tall and just tuck that chin in, ears over shoulders, ribs are over our hips. And, that, and if you do this often enough, it will create good habits, okay? As opposed to if you're standing on one side, it might cause an imbalance in some of your muscles around your body, okay? So in this position, we're just going to breathe in through our nose and then out through our mouth. And in and out. Last one, in and out. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do is do some chin tuck. So a lot of, a lot of the time, People stand with their chin poked out like this. And especially during this time in COVID, we're sort of looking at screens all the time. And we're like, oh, you know, we either can't see it or we have to get close to it. You know, you're trying to do your click and collect thing. So what I want you to do is just with two fingers, just push that chin in. Okay, and then release and then push that chin in. So we're not pull, pulling our chin to our chest, it's just pushing it back and getting a nice stretch at the back of that neck. And we're gonna do this five times. So push it in and out. Two and out. Three and four and five. Okay, so that, when we push our chin in, it, it does stretch that back of the neck, okay? And it puts us in nice alignment with our ears and our shoulders. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is just warm up our shoulders. So I just want you to lift your shoulders up and back, up to the ears and roll them back, up to the ears and roll them back. That's it, a couple more times, up, and back, all right. So now we're gonna do uh, some, some mobility exercises for our shoulders. So the first one, and I want you to do this sitting down because I don't want any pressure in the lower part of your body. And we're gonna sit at the edge of that chair and I want you to lean forward just in, at about a 45 degree angle your arms are by your side. So they're very close to your chin, uh, shins, not chin, shins. And your thumbs are pointing up. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, do the letter Y. Bringing our arms up 
And this resembles the letter Y and then coming down. And again, up and down. Making sure that you have length in your spine from the top of your head to the bottom of your lower back. I'll just turn sideways and show you. So I'm leaning forward at that 45 degree angle. My thumbs are pointing uh, forward, up, and I just lift my arms up and down. And as I'm lifting, I can feel the squeeze of my shoulder blades. So this is called the letter Y. Okay. Now the next one that we're going to do is called the letter T. So again, I'm going to lean forward in that 45 degree angle. My palms are facing forward and my thumbs are pointing upwards. And I'm just going to lift my shoulder, my arms up to form a T and then down and then up, squeezing those shoulder blades. So we're really focusing on the shoulder blades, squeezing, making them nice and strong, lifting up. I'll just turn on the side and do that. <laughs> Leaning forward, pointing those thumbs up and down, squeezing the shoulder blades and down, squeezing the shoulder blades and down. Very good. The next one that we're going to do is the letter W. So again, leaning forward, my palms are facing my shins and I'm just going to bend my elbows up and out. Okay, and then down. And this is the letter W. And then down. Squeeze those shoulder blades and then down. Squeeze the shoulder blades and down. We're going to do another couple of these. Squeeze the shoulder blades and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades and down. Last one. And down. And sitting up. So those three, the Y, T and W, helps that mobility of the shoulder blades, okay? So when we're sitting down, a lot of us have this rounded uh, forward shoulder posture. So those exercises help to mobilise the shoulder blades and pull them back, okay? So you can do this if you're sitting down watching TV, you know, make sure you're sitting on a nice chair. You can do the Y and then you can do the T out to the side and then with your palms facing you, a W, squeezing the shoulder blades. Squeeze those shoulder blades, okay? And then sit up. All right, our last um, warm up, we're going to do our standing up and sitting down. I'm going to do this about five times because I want you to get used to standing with good posture and getting in and out of your chair in the correct way. So my feet are about hip width apart. I'm sitting at the edge of the chair. My hands are just on my thighs or they can be by my side and I'm going to stand up making sure my knees are nice and tall, uh, straight. I'm just going to push my chair back and then sit down again. And then standing up, good posture, ears over shoulders, ribs are over our hips, my knees are extended, my hips are extended. I'm not sitting down. I'll show you sideways. So remember, if I'm sitting down and then I get up, I'm not cheating and bending my knees. Everything is nicely extended and sitting down. And again, stand up and sit down. We're going to do five of these. Okay, this is number three, four, and five. Beautiful. So it's all about creating good habits. Remembering to uh, keep both 
uh, pressure, <coughs> weight on both feet. Okay, and just when you remember, fix yourself up when you're in that supermarket or you're standing around at the kitchen bench, just notice, tuck your chin in, ears over shoulders, ribs are over hips. Equal pressure under each foot, which is very, very important. All right, so now we're gonna start with our strength exercise. So we've warmed up our, our upper body. It's all about the shoulders and the arms today. So grabbing uh, one dumbbell, and what we're gonna do is uh, do a, a little squat with a lawnmower move. So my dumbbell is in the middle of my legs like so. My feet are just outside hip width apart. I'm gonna squat down just a little bit, not too much, and then bring that dumbbell back, keeping my elbow close to my body. Okay, and when I bring that arm back, I'm making sure my shoulder is low. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm keeping the shoulder low and just bringing that elbow behind me, squeezing that shoulder blade. Okay, so from now we're going to do 10 on each side. This is number three. Squeezing that shoulder blade. Four, I'll turn to the side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Swapping the dumbbell on the other side now. We're going to just go do a little squat and pull that arm back. Remember the shoulder is low and the elbow comes behind the back, squeezing that shoulder blade. This is number five. Pull it back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Very good. All right, so our next exercise is a balance exercise. So make sure you have your sturdy chair next to you. We're going to be practicing our single leg stand. So before we put, bring our foot up, make sure you're sit, standing with good posture. Chin tucked in, ears over shoulders, ribs are over your hips. Holding on to that chair if you need to. Notice how much you're holding on as well. I want you to lift one foot off the ground. That's it. And make sure that your shoulders are relaxed and there is equal pressure and underneath that one foot. I also want you to notice how much you're holding on. Are you holding on for dear life? Can you feel your shoulder tightening up or your arm tightening up. Okay, if you're doing that, I just want you to loosen that shoulder, just lessen that grip just a little bit because I want the work to be all in that foot, helping you stand up. And you can feel the muscles straight away. So I can feel my foot and my foot is moving. The minute I take off my hand a little bit, my foot will start to move. I can feel pressure in my calf muscle. That's working hard. I can feel pressure also in my hamstring and in my glute. All those muscles are working hard, okay, to keep me standing nice and tall. And it's much easier standing tall when all our body, our center of gravity is over that foot. If we start to lean forward, whoop, it becomes very difficult to do and rest. So now we're gonna stand on that other foot. Okay, again, just pull your shoulders back a little bit, chin tucked in, standing on that one leg. I'm holding, the chair is there, I'm not holding on too much. I'm noticing how much I'm holding on. Okay, and just for a little bit of a challenge, I want you to turn your head 
side to side and see how that challenges that balance. Always be nice and gentle. Don't turn your head too fast. If you find that you're, that you're starting to become dizzy, just look straight ahead. Okay, so each time I turn my head, I can feel my foot constantly gripping onto that ground. All my muscles are working, my calves, my hamstrings, my glutes. Okay, and rest. Alrighty. So standing on that one leg is a good thing to practice every day. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is grabbing your uh, two dumbbells, we're going to work our, the back of our shoulders. Okay, this is called the seated reverse fly. I'm sitting at the edge of my chair. I've got my dumbbells by my side and I'm going to leave just tilt forward to about 45 degrees. There's a slight bend in my elbows and in this position I'm going to lift my arms out to the side and then come back. Lift it out and back. That's it. So you can really feel the back of the shoulders working. If you feel that those dumbbells are too heavy for you, you can uh, make them lighter or even just do this with body weight. Okay, squeezing the shoulder blades. That's it. Keeping the angle of your elbows. All right, we don't want it, we don't want a completely straight arm. Okay. That's it. Another two, making sure that there's, you have full length. We can have a rest now. So when we are leaning forward, making sure that from the tip of your head, or just turn on the side, from the tip of your head to the bottom of your back, that it's one straight line. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to pop those down and we're going to work on our balance again. Alrighty, make sure that that chair is close to you. Again, standing with good posture. Now what I want you to do is put one foot in front of the other, heel to toe. That chair is there to hold on to, to keep you balanced. If you find that this position is too difficult, even just bringing it a little bit back to the side, so just um, widening that gap, between your feet will be good enough. So you just decide what you want to do, either in this position or bringing that heel directly in front of that toe. So in this position, we're going to bring our hands out to the side and already I can feel that my feet are really working to keep me standing upright. I'm making sure that my centre of gravity is right over my feet. I'm not leaning forward. Okay. And in this position, whoop, nearly fell over there, twisting. Well, I think I've got to, I just need to step forward because I'm in the way of my garage door. So twisting from side to side. That's it. Really working those feet. They're constantly moving to keep you balanced. If you can't lift both arms up, if this is too difficult for you to do, you can just hold onto the chair and just twisting one arm. Okay, try your best. All right. And Now what I want you to do is put the other foot in front. Okay, standing tall and twisting from side to side. Oop, I need to move away. That's it, twisting side to side. That's it. And rest. All right, sorry about that. I've just got to.
turn this. That's okay. No worries. All right. Um, so now what we're going to do is grabbing your dumbbells. Again, we're going to work our back muscles. Okay. We're going to start with our dumbbells, our arms fully extended. Well, there's a slight bend in the elbows out to the side. My palms are facing up and I'm going to bring my elbows into my waist. Out and in. Out and in. Beautiful. Out, squeezing those shoulder blades, really working those muscles. That's it. We need to keep our back muscles nice and strong to stop us from leaning forward, to stop our shoulders from leaning forward. That's it. Another three, two, one, and down and rest. All righty, popping those dumb, popping one dumbbell down. We're going to do another balance exercise. So this one will require a, a dumbbell. So you can either use a dumbbell or use a cushion or something lighter. All right, so what we're going to do is stand on one leg. My chair is next to me. Okay, now if standing on one leg is too difficult, you can just pop that toe down. The movement will look like this. I'm going to transfer the weight from hand to hand. That's it. You can try and lift that foot up. If that's too difficult for you to do, pop it down. That's it. So just using a light weight. Okay. This is a dynamic balance. So we're standing on that one leg and we're transferring that weight side to side. And rest. I want you now to lift your other foot off the ground. So all your weight is on that opposite foot. Transfer that weight side to side. You can keep that toe down just to keep you a little bit more balanced. Okay, and making sure that all your weight is on that uh, flat, that standing foot. Okay, you can try lifting it up. That's it. Keeping those shoulders down. And rest. All right. So there's six exercises that we've done. And what we're going to do now, I'll keep that holding. What we're going to do now is do them all again. Okay. So have a drink of water if you need to. I think I will. Okay. All right. That's it. Now I'll just, um, I'll see. That's it. Beautiful. All right. So when we're all ready to go, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Yep. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, everyone good? Excellent. All righty. So grabbing your one dumbbell, we're going to do that squat with the lawnmower. So standing nice and tall, remember that good posture. My feet are just outside hip width apart and the dumbbell starts in the middle of my legs. I'm just going to gently squat down and then pull that dumbbell back. Squat down just as far as you feel comfortable and pulling it back. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these. That's it. I think this is number four. Make sure that shoulder is low and you're squeezing that shoulder blade as the elbow comes back. That's it. This is seven. Eight, nine, 
and 10. Swapping hands now. That's it, holding the dumbbell in the middle of your legs. Squatting down, pulling back, that's it. Squatting down, pulling back. With all this rain that we've had lately and the hot and cold weather, our grass is growing so high. That's it. So pulling that lawnmower cord back. Excellent. Pulling it back. That's it. And a few more. I've completely lost count, so we'll do another three. That's it. Two and one. Woo, very good. All right, popping that down, we're going to practice our balance. So standing near that chair, holding on if you need to. Fixing up your posture, ears over shoulders, ribs are over your hips. Lifting that one foot off the ground, holding on if you need to. Noticing how much you are holding on. Okay, try and lessen that grip just a little bit and see what happens. We want to work that standing leg. And you should be feeling it all throughout the calves, all at the back of the leg. Okay. The more you lessen your grip, the more that your foot will start to move. And that's not, that's not a bad thing. That's okay. That's just the foot working the senses underneath. All right. So standing nice and tall. And rest. Now lifting the other foot off the ground. Again, just adjusting your posture. Okay, holding on. And with this one, we're going to turn our head side to side. That's it. Notice how your foot feels underneath. Can you feel it moving even more? Mine is. Okay, and as soon as I lessen my grip on that chair, it even moves more so. That's it. Just noticing how your body is standing. Okay, last one. And rest. All right. So that single leg standing is really good to practice every day. It will definitely help the strength of your legs. And it's easy. So it's not as if we're moving any joints. So you just stand there. How simple is that? Easier doing this than doing some squats. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do our seated reverse squat. So sitting down on your chair, at the edge of the chair, hands are by your side, and I'm leaning forward at that 45 degree angle. There's a slight bend in my elbows, and I'm going to lift those dumbbells out to the side, keeping the angle of my elbows, beautiful. Squeezing the shoulder blades. We're working the muscles at the back of the shoulder, okay? When we sit down for too long and we sort of slouch, those muscles around our shoulders become quite weak, okay? So we're just working them today waking them up and making sure that they that we sit with good posture all right and rest okay so remember working those back muscles will help us sit nice and tall will help with our shoulders to be back a little bit will prevent them from stop rolling forward okay we always want to be sitting in good, in good uh, posture. All right, popping that down. We're going to do our heel to toe twist. I've got to make sure I'm not standing too close to that garage door. Standing heel to toe, okay? So remember, if this is too difficult, just take your foot a little bit away from the other foot, okay? So you're standing on 
uh, standing just in a staggered stance. I'm going to pop mine in front of it. The other ones, I'm standing heel to toe, arms are at my side. I can feel my feet gripping onto that ground and I'm twisting as far as I feel comfortable for each side. That's it. Whoop. Okay. We're gonna do a few more of these. This is number three. We're gonna do five, four, and five. Hands down, swapping feet. I've got my le I've got my left foot in front of my right. Hands are out to the side and twist from one side to the other. We're going to do five of these. That's number two, three, four, and five and rest. All right, grabbing your two dumbbells. We're going to do our lat pull down. Holding your dumbbells out to the side, my palms are facing up and squeeze those shoulder blades as those elbows come into your side. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Popping one dumbbell down. So we're going to do that balance with that uh, dumbbell from hand to hand. So remember, standing on one leg, you can put that toe down, holding that dumbbell on one arm, all that cushion and transferring that weight from side to side. That's it. A dynamic balance exercise. Excellent. Your arms don't have to be so far out. Keeping the elbows bent. Excellent. Really working that standing leg. And rest, other foot. Notice if you can, and then swapping those dumbbell over. Notice, does it feel easier to do on one leg than the other? Okay, so listen to your body. What muscles can you feel? Can you feel your foot moving? Okay. If you think that one side is weaker than the other, you can practice that single leg balance to improve the strength of that weaker leg. Last one, and rest. Very good, all right. Popping those dumbbells down now. You can have a drink of water if you need. We're gonna finish off with some stretches, okay? All right, so the first stretch that we're going to do is pull our arms back and I want your thumbs to face backwards. That's it. So we're doing this, stretching our chest. All right, so when we are in that forward uh, shoulder roll position, it will make our chest very tight. We need to stretch it out, okay? Sometimes the problems for our shoulders a cause because we've got a very tight chest muscles. All right. And now what I want you to do, grabbing your hands and pushing forward, really stretching out those back muscles. We work them very hard today. That's it. And rest, we're gonna stretch our posterior shoulder. So these are the muscles that we worked when we did that reverse fly. So we work those muscles here. We're just gonna bring that arm across the body and you pull it with that other arm. That's it, and other side. Pulling it across your body. Making sure that it's not so up, so bringing your shoulders down and pulling that arm across your body. 
All right. And now we're just going to do some deep breathing in and then out. And then in and out. Last one, in. Big stretch up and then breathing out. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope your shoulders are, are much stronger now than what they were. Okay, so it's all about creating good habits, making sure that, you know, if you find yourself slouching, fix yourself up. Okay, tuck that chin in, all right, and the shoulders are down. So making sure that from your ears, are in alignment with your shoulders, your ribs are in alignment with your hips, okay? All right, so a little bit at a time. We're not robots. We're not going to be, you know, in that position all the time. But if you feel yourself, you know, slouching, fix yourself up. <laughs> and hopefully, so the more times, the more consistent you are in fixing, fixing yourself up, the more often you will do it. Right? And it will be beneficial for your, for your back and for your shoulders. Okay. So have a lovely weekend. We'll Thanks, see Maria. You all Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Oh, Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.